Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, my name is Alexis Jada and welcome. Today's notification shout out goes to Hey It's Brie. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Thank you mucho. Brie has commented over 54 times. Thank you, thank you so much. If you wanna be part of the notification squad, all you have to do is just like the video, hit subscribe and leave a comment down below and your comment can possibly be my next notification. Shout out. Look at my shirt. Oh, I couldn't find it in my size and I went to a different location at Ross. Got it. So excited I did because it's so freaking hilarious. And let's get in to today's sword arm. Look how cute this is. Fam Bam made it for me. I have the best freaking Fam Bam. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. My nails are by Nailed by Lily. Look how freaking gorgeous these are. Super cute, super long. I know I've been MIA for a hot minute. I take you guys very serious on taking my breaks when I need them because of the trauma that I am sharing. So I want to say thank you guys so much for being so sweet and kind and so understanding. It seriously makes me just feel so understood and heard feels so crazy with the nails okay let's listen Shh. okay i haven't picked in a while because i feel like i haven't been like the best the best but once i do get the best best of best, i will so let's get back into the story time it's been a quite some time. I got some new products I want to play with. I got some goodies in here. Lipsticks that I want to try. I do want to share something that Fam Bam did send to me. She sent me such a pretty card. Here's a card. She said I could read her letter, just keep her anonymous. She says, hi, I'm a huge fan of your 90s series. This has been my three year anniversary watching your channel now. So I have a twin sister and we love your channel, been watching you. We have been watching you, you are all I talk about. My family literally knows, not by watching your channel, but how much I mention you. I've never related so much to a person I never met in person. Okay, yeah, that was a tongue twister. <laughs> but one day I hopefully will, yes. You've inspired me to speak up to my extended family about the way they do things. And let's say I'm going through what you say you're going through with yours. It's sad that most of our aunts and uncles are stuck in their ways, but I hope that changes. Anyway, I watch your channel and it always broke me how you were treated as a kid. I hear your stories about your kids like you had no one to go to. I really imagine how bad it could get. You opened my eyes to a lot of things wrong with this world. And you showed that outside of all that trauma, there's truly light at the end of the tunnel. My mental health has been really bad. And one thing that made me keep myself afloat is your videos thank you it comfort me in ways you couldn't imagine so i want to thank you for being the reason for helping me find my voice thank you in light of my tunnel you saved me i love you i love you i know you love when we write letters so here's mine from you <laughs> thank you so 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 much i really really appreciate it so a really really nice letter i will forever keep that she sent me some harry potter cards i was like oh my gosh she sent me stitch if you guys don't know i'm obsessed with stitch ohana means family it means nobody gets left behind or forgotten if you guys don't know my brother has that tattooed on him because when we were younger my mom would always always say that and you guys know my mom has been through a lot and he got that on him and when my mom was going through it, he liked to look at it. She also sent me the Harry Potter socks. And this is a keychain and a mug. So I am set. <laughs> so thank you so much, love. I know you want to remain anonymous. So I just want to say I love you, I love you. Thank you, thank you so much. Let me know what you guys are doing. If you guys are cleaning, if you guys are cooking, if you guys are working, let me know down below. I would love to know, catch up with you guys. Let me know what you guys have been doing. I did do another story time besides the nannies because some of these story times with the nanny series, you guys can hit really, really deep where I'm just like, ooh, I didn't think that was gonna open the wound so deep. Like sometimes I'm just like, oh, I'm just gonna scratch at the wound, but sometimes it just goes deeper. And then I really just be sitting there and I'm like, oh, and then I think it's kind of harder for me at times too because my kids are the ages. What does that mean? It's a basketball thing. You know. But what does D1 mean? It's not sexual. Oh, but it's what does not... it mean? Did you like see my D1 shirt? Athlete, you know? <laughs> I found it in my size. You actually like walked out? Yeah, when I went to Ross. Yeah, you look really, really nice. Like basketball is my favorite sport. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that'd be have fun. Anyways, I swear that was like perfect timing. My kids are around the ages, my story times, and it really can just be like, oh my gosh. And it's just, it's very hard. 
and it's it's a whole i cannot even explain it it's just a lot you know and there has been one fan about i do see your comments love where you're like name these people i want to know these people's name now and i get that i can understand where that comes from but i am telling my own story my own journey and i have to share as much as i'm comfortable with because it does mess with my mental when I share a little bit too much at times where I'm like, ugh, like, like I said, it's cutting deep into the wound. And when I get into this depressed state, nobody, I mean, nobody knows how to pull me out of it but myself. And I'm like, I don't know if it's worth putting myself in that sort of depressed state and doing that, you know what I mean? And I feel like what I already share is more than enough, especially since I do see the comments of fam bam feeling comfort and are like, thank you so much for sharing. I feel so seen. Those, that's what means a lot to me. You know, and I'm like, oh, okay. Like what I'm sharing is more than enough. You know what I mean? Anyways, I hope that clears up some, or um, I do get comments of like wanting a little bit more detail. And I've already told you guys about that, where I feel like ever since like a few of you guys are like, Alexis, don't share every single detail because there is people on here that are just watching to like, they have like P word behavior, you know? And then, Others are like, I can see that this puts you like in a really dark place. There's no need to share it. And like from A to Z, you can just share it from A to C or A to D, but not A to Z. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to find like my good, like medium. And I feel like I found it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, okay, I have. There's some times where I'm like, I share a little bit too much and I'm like, <sighs> and I need to take like some time off and I'm like in my feelings, you know, and all that. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that. Anyway, since we've caught up a little bit more, let me give you guys a little recap of what happened in the last story time since it's been a hot minute so that we are caught up with this story time. All right, so Bobby is some puto that hurt me, violated me. It was a no-no. I get that people wanted more details of that because a lot of you guys were confused. I tried to do my best of sharing as much as that I was comfortable with. Some got it in the comments and were like, okay, you know what I mean? I was extremely tra traumatized when that happened. Bobby was handled. Thank you so much to Tommy. She, she handled it, it was handled. My mom is in jail for a very <laughs> long while. I laugh because I'm just like, ugh, like, I keep thinking, I keep telling my husband, like I keep waiting and I just want to like jump to the part that I get pregnant with Andrew. And he like laughs cause he's like, mm. cause like if you guys would see the story times, like my, my journals and stuff, you guys would be like, dang girl, I, I know, I know. And it takes a minute. So I don't know if I should like do like a, like a mini part series or a different series to when I do start getting pregnant. So when I do do the nannies, you guys can just like jump back and forth. I don't know if that's just complicated. I don't know if I'm over complicating all that. I don't know, right? Okay, anyways, so my mom's put in there for a while. Finally, see the peaches. We spend time together. They tell me, hey, we're gonna go somewhere. It's gonna be like an hour or two away. An hour, an hour or two away. If you wanna go, you're more than welcome. But don't feel like you're obligated because we do have a new nanny. We replaced you, bitch. Just kidding. But pretty much because they were like, you're not reliable. And I'm like, it's not my fault. Okay, I didn't know when I was going to get out of the jail. And they're like, you should have known. You should have known. You should have been a bruja, right? You're a bruja. You should have known. And I'm just like, yeah, you're right. Like, I should be a bruja because, yeah, like, I'm so sorry. But anyways, they replaced me. They got a new nanny. They're still willing to, like, keep me around, you know, kind of, like, fill it out. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Because free, free babysitting because when I was going through it with them, I was telling them like, please let me come back, please. I'll watch the babies for free, please, because they know I didn't want to be in that crazy environment. And they're like, hmm, let's see how long we can string her along. You know what I'm saying? So I spent some time with them. They tell me like, hey, you're more than welcome to come with us if you want to. If you can't, cool. Don't don't stress about it. And I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. So then I have the ex, the ex take me home. I feel guilty. I feel guilty about what happened with Bobby, even though it's not my fault. Okay, but this is how this boy had so many mind games and he really always had me feeling like I had to tell him my every single freaking move. You know what I mean? And it was, it was, in, it was toxic. All right. So then I tell him and he makes it about him. Like, oh, oh, what was me? What was me? Like, I feel betrayed. I can't believe you did this to me. You must have been doing something. Your attitude, you must have been flirting with them. You must have been sending like freaking brain waves. Like, hey, do this to me. Stupid stuff, right? So I'm like, oh my God, like poor him, poor him, poor him. So yeah, so then 
more cheese man sit back relax let me tell you some more i found out that my grandma called the popos and was telling the popos hey keep my daughter in there because she stole my son-in-law's xyz xyz okay i catch you into it and i'm like what is wrong with you why do you show this man so much loyalty like what is wrong with you like you could be mad at my mom cool yeah whatever that's understandable but why though do you keep taking up for this man? So I'm calling her, I'm harassing her, harassing her, la la la, why are you doing this? Why do you like this ma'am? Blah, 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 blah. I should be really putting on makeup, but I'm over here like telling you guys, I'm mad. I'm like, why, why, like what, why? Why do you have this loyalty to him? We're fighting, I'm like giving my grandma a hard time, calling the stepdad giving him a hard time because the nerve of you the nerve that he has right and the nerve that he still got so i'm fighting with him telling him and he's like oh she took my blah, blah, blah. i'm like what did she take like what is it i'm thinking i'm thinking it's a it's not so fighting with him fighting with him tommy calls me out of the room she's like hey come here and i'm like okay go and it's a cop and then that's where we're at okay so get your makeup you're gonna get ready with me and let's get into it. I am going to be using the Huda Beauty and this one right here to be creating my looks today. Kudos to the girls who have long nails like these because these are super long. I feel like, mm -hmm. maybe it would make my girly side come out a little bit more if I would put on these type of nails like all the time because I feel like I'm very much tomboy all the time. You know what I'm saying? It's just really hard to not be so tomboyish because I'm just such a tomboy at heart. Kiehl's creamy eye treatment is so good, you guys. It's my favorite. A little bit goes a long freaking way. It leaves your under eyes so nice, so pretty. Okay, so I walk to the door and I'm like, don't, 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 because I already know, because we already know I'm a bruja, right? And I'm like, okay, this little crybaby called the popos on me because how I keep bugging him and bugging him and bugging him. So I'm like scared because I'm like, oh, I knew it. I knew it. Like, oh my gosh, Jade, you went too far. Locked up, you can't let me out. So I walk closer to the door. And you know what? Same time, I'm like, okay, Tommy's pretty smart. She knows like her rights and all that. It must not be something too serious if she's like even letting them talk to me. You know what I mean? So I'm like, oh, okay, let's go to the front door he asks me like oh is this your full name blah, yada 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 and i don't know why what comes over me the sass and i'm like who wants to know <laughs> obviously the officer pendeja obviously the officer tommy goes let's don't start and so she says my name and i'm like yeah that's my name say my name say my name so then he asks me so what you went up to on this this evening and I'm just like looking at him. So I'm like, what the f are you here for? I need to go back to my phone so I can harass this son of a bitch who thinks that he can just do whatever he wants. And I'm like, nothing. Okay, you haven't been making any phone calls? And I'm like, well, it depends. Like, to who? And Tommy's like, Alexis, like just like trying to nip it, you know? Because she's just probably trying to get him out. We can't be like creating problems and making any attention go to us, right? And so pretty much, pretty much, my grandma called, yeah, and was like, my daughter's homegirl, my daughter's girlfriend has the stuff in the house. That's where it's at. And to my grandbaby to stop harassing me, please and thank you very much. Tommy's not even phased by it. Tommy's like, you know what? Your grandma's old. I'm gonna let it slide. Uh, no. So he asks us if he can come in. Tommy's like, no. Do you have a warrant? He's like, I don't. I just thought you guys would want to do the right thing. Tries to do all that. And she's like, and sometimes you guys don't. So, but no, you cannot come in. I do not have what she's talking about. And he goes, did you pawn it? She goes, excuse me? No, you can check whatever you need to. Is there any more questions? And he tells me pretty much stop harassing my grandma and my stepdad. So then I'm like, do you know what he did to me? He goes, I really don't care. <laughs> and that's just how it is. That's just how it is. And I'm like, well, even though you don't care, I'm gonna tell you, sir. He did, he's like, ah, I'm gonna stop you right there. I don't, I don't care. It's just the timing of, I don't care. And you know what? 
that's how a lot of the situations were, right? Because they see like, oh, a badass little kid. And then they think, oh, she's just probably saying that because she's mad at him. And so they just, I don't care. Still can remember him. He had that like, thick ass freaking mustache and nothing down here. It was just all this. Okay. I don't care. I don't care. I was just like, mm. it hurt a little bit because it was just like, mm. but I already know this. I already know how this is, right? So I'm like, okay, shut me up really quick. Tells me that if he gets a phone call that I am still harassing him. So was I a little butt hurt? Yeah, but I already knew. But anyways, pretty much he's leaving and he tells me that he does not want to get another phone call of me harassing my stepdad that he can press charges if he wants to. And I'm like, wow, him press charges? Wow. He's like, again, I don't care. Like he was just, he was just, he did not care about the business. He probably seen me as like, just like a bratty teen and that's cool, whatever, uh, okay, whatever. It was just, I, I don't know why I even let it get to me because like, what did you expect, Jade? You already know how it looks. Why you do it? I don't know, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. And sometimes I'm just like, just, I can hear it, but it just doesn't, doesn't process right here, you know what I'm saying? He leaves, I go on a whole tangent with Tommy and I'm like, that mother I can't believe he said that to me. Like, I was so hurt. It's like, dude, shut up. Shut up. But you gotta remember, this is like teenage Jade. You know what I mean? So it's just like so hormonal, so many hormones. And it's because it's like, I always felt like, of course they're gonna believe that, that guy. Because he sat there smiling. He sat there like, oh, what? They're crazy. They just hate me for no reason. You know what I mean? And then me calling him, it that was just my bad because I knew. And then my grandma too. She couldn't just put me on mute. She couldn't just like not call, but no. She was like, ah, oh, it's too much for me and told them come over. So Tommy's kind of like not trying to like be disrespectful to my grandma, to me, but she's just like, okay, okay. You know, kind of just, hmm, all right, all right, you know? So I tell her, I'm like, well, do you have it here? She's like, have what here? And I'm like, the stuff, what stuff? And I'm like, you know what? I don't even blame you because that's my blood over there. And she's just, she don't, she got her wires mixed up. They have a bunch of cousin in her family. So I totally get it. You don't gotta tell me nothing. So I just go to the back room and she's like, Alexis, do I have to tell you to like, to like leave them alone? And I'm like, no, I won't bug them. And she's like, I'm serious because if you get in trouble, your mom's still in lockup. Like you will be in kitty jail until she's out. And then if they, they put you in there, you will go to a group home because nobody's gonna show up for you. Not your grandma, not your brother, not me, and not that piece of shit. So I'm like, okay, I heard you. I'm not going to call him. And I didn't. I did one better. I told one of my friends. Called her up and I was like, hey, call this number. He did X, Y, and Z. Call him. She's like, okay, say less. She went on MySpace, did all that. They did what they did. She did all that. He ends up coming over, knocking on her door to tell me to leave him alone. She laughs in his face and she's like, what, what are you talking about? She, she's sleeping. I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, I don't know what the pinche chamaca did. Blah, 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 blah. But that I put his number somewhere. That's why these little girls and boys are calling him. And so she's like, but are they lying? But are they lying? I go, yeah, I already have apologized. What more does she want from me? And Tommy says some really harsh things. And he's like, well, I can't do that. I have kids. Okay. Which think whatever you, the most nastiest thing that he could do. And she told him that. Okay. So then he screams through the door thing. I'm not sleeping. Pretty much is starting to stop. To stop. This is messing with his mental to stop because he can't change his numbers because my brothers use that to get a hold of him and his parent I'm good okay yada 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 and that if he gets one more phone call that he is going to call the popo so I can end up in jail and so Tommy is like I'll, I'll tell her but I already told you she's sleeping he's like I know she's not sleeping like screaming right after that I call my friend and I'm like hey girl <laughs> You can take down the post. We did what we did. It's good. Thank you so much. She's like, you're welcome, bitch. The next day rolls around. Tommy tells me, hey, get ready. 
We gotta go see your mom. I'm like, oh my God, I don't wanna go see her. I don't want any drama. I already know what's going to happen. I could just feel something in my pants that was telling me not to go. Don't go, don't go, don't go. But I could feel something. Don't go, don't go, don't go. And I'm like, ah, don't go, don't go. But we went. So I get ready and I'm like, uh, okay, let's go. Check in with the peaches and I'm like, hey, I would love to still go with you guys to like the thing that's one hour, two hours away. Gotta go see my mom after that. Like I'm just gonna be with you guys for the rest of the time. They're like, okay, yeah, sure, whatever. Cool. The whole time my panza is telling me, don't go, don't go. And I'm telling you, when your panza is talking to you like that, please, por favor, listen. So the whole ride there, I have like bubble guts. And I don't know why or how to explain them, but I just feel something's a brewing, bruja. So we get there, right? And I'm like, no, there's no way, there's no way. I see a truck that I recognize. And I'm like, nah, 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 nah. We get there and I hear my brothers go, Jade. Oof, when I'm telling you, me corazón went to mi culo. I was like, mm. See my brothers, I hug them, love on them. They're like, oh, we're here to see mom. Ah which I want them to see their mom. Like, yeah, of course, duh. But I just don't want him, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm like, mm, I already know what's gonna happen. This thing has played out so many times. <sighs> so Tommy's pissed, Tommy's pissed, but she's thinking the same thing I'm thinking. Like, okay, maybe the kid's gotta come. We wanna, oh my God, she, oh my God. We're just thinking so many things. So they're waiting on their time. So our time is pretty much like stacked almost like right next to them. So that time I'm like talking to my brothers and their dad tries to be stupid and is like, come sit over here. And they're like, but dad, we wanna see. He's trying to be dumb, right? Of like, don't talk to your sister. But it's like, shut the fuck you stupid, crusty, dusty, musty bitch. Por favor, I get that. I'm sitting there, I'm talking to my brothers and they were just so young and like just young. And they're like asking me like, oh, do you want to go out to eat with us? Like, oh, come on dad, can like Lex come? And he's like, no, oh, like getting all annoyed with them. I was like, don't ask him nothing. So I'm like getting mad. And he's like, don't be talking to me about my, don't me, my, your kid, my kids, you know, shut the up. Like he couldn't even like, he was just, just be quiet. Like, no one's talking to you. So I'm like, what? Like, all annoyed. He's like, no, man, that's just pinch of ass. Like, don't be making those faces to me. And I'm like, or oh, what? Like, what? Like, I'm just so like, ugh. So then my brother started like, Jay, please don't. Like, like trying to fight with their dad. And I'm like, he started it with me. He's telling me that I know, but you know how dad, I don't care how he is. Like, I'm so sick of it. So I'm getting kind of like loud. And then Tommy's like, let's just come sit over here like and stop. You know how hard it was to see my brothers sitting down and like I had to go sit next to Tommy because like their dad didn't know how to act because their dad was insecure and their dad was a little bitch. Like it was so Hard. So they get called back. They're having the time with my mom and the whole time just thinking like I can't even imagine what he's telling her. I can't even imagine. And my mom don't even give me the benefit of the doubt half the time because she's so whooped over this dude. I don't know what he has on her for her to act the way that she does. Like I don't understand it. I don't. So they take their sweet time and it's a good minute and I'm just like okay. So they're they finish up. So now it's our turn. My brothers are walking this way. We're walking that way. As we are going this mother decides to tell me and you better tell her all of it and how you're ruining your pinches by me guys i was like can you stop talking to me can you stop talking to me because i was so mad because i feel like he really had like he put himself like the those pinches werewolves that that man had the nerve he carried in that nut sack was insane and i felt like Nobody else really gave it to him besides my tios. You know, like even though me and my tios, we don't get along, I am still grateful that my tio gave him a chingazo right in his face when he saw him. Like that's the kind of action that I respected. You know what I mean? Because that's normal to see someone who hurt your your niece, your grandbaby, your daughter. That is a normal reaction to give a chingazo, right? I feel it, I feel it. I feel like <sighs> that's a normal reaction. But this mother we're so used to my grandma's reactions of trying to always like, oh, no, 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 but your sister needs a dad, but your sister, your brothers, don't be selfish, da, 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 da. right? That's not a normal reaction, right? A normal reaction is like my Theo seeing him like, oh, you did this to Alexis? Putazo, falling over the steps. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, that's a normal reaction. But the way that this motherfucker in my face like he really like he really 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 was like Ugh. no one cared what i did to you so i'm going to continue to talk to you however the fuck i please because nothing's going to happen to me that's the kind of like attitude he would give me all the time and he was he was right nobody did anything until grown lex had to grow up and i had to show up for myself and then 
Andale, wey. It really made me mad how he would get crazy with me because even though I was young, I still knew like, hey, this isn't okay. Like I said, the nerve that that man carried in that ball sack was not okay. It was insane. So when he was getting crazy with me, the, 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 the cop or the officer, whatever he is the, behind the desk was like, keep it down, keep it down. And I was like, I hope you told her the truth. I hope you told her the truth. Uh, I don't know what the talking about. I was like, shut the f up and don't be telling me anything. Like you're nothing to me. The only thing that you are to me is my brother's dad. That's it, nothing else. And then this, like I was so mad and he's like, I'm crazy. I feel like he did not really get to see that side of crazy until I was grown where I was like, it's okay if I catch a freaking case defending myself to you. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. And I feel like anytime I did react, he played that card so well of like, him and the ex's mom have that in common where they throw so many stones. They've inflicted so much pain and they act like you are crazy for reacting. Like it is insane the type of mentality that someone carries like that where, you know, when I've heard in the past that my stepdad was like, oh, that's not what happened. And psh, called up his wife real quick, like, bitch. Because then she started to believe it. And it's like, uh, you got me. Step. Oh, then you're saying. making conches. Yeah, I'm making conches. Oh, okay. Tommy kind of stays quiet when he's like telling me stuff, but she's like telling him like to like the kids, the kids, the kids, you know. And my brother's of course crying. Any interaction that me and their father had, it always ended them with them crying, and it like literally pissed me off because I was like, get it together, like your dad's a bitch. Just kidding. But like it really irritated me because I always look like it always looked like if it was me. You know what I'm saying? And it was their dad. So I already have a face. I'm already going there with a little attitude because I already know that she's going to be on the wrong side because she always is, you know what I'm saying? Well, she always was, but we're getting better at it. We're getting better at it. So I get in there, I see my mom, she's mad. My mom has this face where I wish I could just take a picture and like print it on so I can like wear it for Halloween because she is so scary. Like my mom, that's like the only like resting face that I'm scared of is my mother's. Like, you know how everyone's like scared of their mom's face? Like I am terrified of my mom's face. Like when she does the resting face because it is so mean. So I sit down and I already know that she's going to go in on me because her face is pissed. It's not mad because of like him telling her stuff. It's mad because she's mad because he probably like told her like, ain't either me or her, you know? I sit down and I'm like, what? Cause I already know. And it's like, Lex, the nerve you carry in your that sack bitch and it's like I know <laughs> okay so I sit down and I'm like what and she's like what the f do you mean what I'll be your f***ing ass when I get out of here and I was like when when's that when's that you know getting stupid with her because Jada came out okay Jada was awakened and it's really hard to put her back in the box like it's really hard when she gets put out I get kind of scared when she's out too much because I'm like ah! like I don't know it's my alter ego I don't know what the Frick is going on with her. So she's telling me like to like watch my tone, watch how I talk to her. And I'm like, okay, what did he tell you? Cause I'm like really defensive. And she told me that I was acting like a little shit and that I was having people call him and harass him. And I got crazy with her mom. And I was like, I was defending you. Something that you don't know how to do for me. And so we're going back and forth, back and forth. She's getting pissed. Okay, so my mom, I'm not gonna tell her business, but she keeps going like this to her chest. And I'm like, quit, quit. Cause I'm getting mad. Cause I'm like, why are you going far for him like this? Like you and grandma, there's something wrong with y'all. Just because grandma didn't defend you about whatever happened with you does not mean you get to do that to me. Like this is wrong. I don't know why, what he has over you. Shut the f no you, no you. Did I have the boss to mouth back? No, you shut the f No, I did not because I was scared. Even though there was a, I was scared. You don't tell me to shut up. Where is that from? Hmm? So we're fighting and like the guard or whoever it is that's right there watching how like these conversation goes. He was like, hey, watch how you talk to your mom. I just got quiet because I'm like, okay, I'm not trying to go to jail. Like I'm not trying to get crazy with this officer because she was pretty scary. And my mom was like, yeah, that's what I thought. Bien chingona. And I was like, okay. And you, where are you at? Where are you at? Yeah, bien chingona. Uh-huh. Like getting crazy with her. And the guard was like, Hey, what did I say? And it just sucks because I'm like 
sir, she's over here defending a P word. And he goes, that got nothing to do with me. Keep it down. Of course you. So I was like, okay, that's fine. And she was like, why do you do that? Why do you say that? Why do you say, you don't know what that I could do to me in here? You don't know what I could do to me in here? Instantly my eyes get big. So I was like, oh, I don't, I didn't think. I didn't think what that could do. So I was like, I'm just kidding. Like that to him. And he like just nods his head like, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, right? She tells me pretty much to keep it straight because if I go cricket, she's gonna whip that ass. And I was like, okay. She's like, do you understand? And I was like, yes, I do. Give the phone to Tommy, her and Tommy are talking. Tommy's like, go wait outside. And I was like, why? She's like, cause I obviously don't want you to hear what I'm gonna say, so go outside. Okay, so I'll go outside. I'm sitting there for a good ass minute. They are talking for a very, very long time. Now, does Jade calm down? Or does, does, does Jade go far? Let me know right now. Comment down below. Jade goes far or Jade stops? Jade doesn't stop. Okay, I call my grandma. I call my grandma and I'm like, why don't start? I was like, no, 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 no. Why do you allow him to do this? She starts fighting with me, telling me to shut the F up, that I'm being such a difficult child, that what the F is wrong with me, that what did my mom do that was so horrible for me to act this way? So I was like, oh, oh, okay. Let, okay, class is in session. Sit the f down so I can tell you what the f she did. So I start listing every single fucking thing she goes and i told your mom not to leave you alone at night when she would work graves and i told i was like shut the f so i would start fighting with her telling her everything i said even though my mom did all those things you are just as bad because you're right there not doing a damn thing over there taking up for him why are you over here acting like your your plate is clean when it's the dirtiest one grandma like i was so mad because it's like the audacity, you know what I'm saying? Like you are talking about my mother, but you are looking at a reflection. The fuck? I was so hot, y'all. I was so mad because I was like, what, what? Like, are we really not gonna, act? what? But her excuse was, I told her, I told her, I told her. You told her what? You told her what? You told her what? Like, it was so annoying. She's like, stop talking over me, stop talking over me. So I'm like, and what, and what, and what? Like fighting with my, with my grandma, okay? I was, I was hot, I was so hot. I just kept saying, when I see you, I was like, when you see me, what? When you see, you're not going to see me. So I was like fighting with her, cause I was so mad. When I catch you, Ricky, when I catch you, that's what she would kept yelling. Like, when I see you, when I see you, Jade, when I see you, but you're not, but you're not. Like I was so obnoxious and I was so mad, like yelling at her in the phone. And she's like, oh, what? Most famous lines that she would say, one of them when she would say is, well, let me tell you from the phone rings both ways. And she over here telling this to her grandbabies. Grandma, I am 12, I am 13, I am 14. What do you mean? Okay, 10, okay. Or she say, the door's right there. Don't let it hit you on the way out. The guy where God split ya. That was the funniest thing to say when you're Getting hot like when you're mad and she was like you know what there's a door don't let it hit you on the way out like there's a door don't let the door hit you with a god split you like she would just ugh. i hate to use the word evil on my grandma but for real she is so mean she's so mean they don't make them like her no more you don't have to talk to me you're the one calling me i'm not bothering you don't bother me okay i am not your mom i'm your grandma not your mom i didn't birth you i didn't lay down with my feet up in the air to have you what's another one i was born tired i'm gonna die tired my grandma's famous words. That one, I'm like, okay, okay. Cause my grandma's just, she was always tired. So she would always say, I was born tired. That I don't got to have her in her life. That her own kids that she birthed don't even talk to her. And the one that did, that the one that does is giving her hell. And so she was like, you don't have to talk to me. Da -da -da -da. I was like, there you go. So quick to throw away our relationship instead of trying to do right and fix it. What the? do you want me to do? So I'm like telling her, this is what I want you to do. I want you to stop taking up for him because he's a piece of shit. I want you to make me feel like I am priority, not him. I want you to stick by me, to defend me. And you think after giving somebody the answers to what they asked, that she would be like, oh, gotcha. No, mm -mm. she called me selfish. Called me selfish and that I was only thinking about myself and that she hopes that one day I can see it, but no, no. And I was like, okay, okay. So I told her that I was gonna give him hell. I'm going to give him hell. Obviously because you guys are attracted to mother 
is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give, you're only gonna be hurting your brothers. That's all who you're hurting. Just say you don't love your brothers. She says she would say super that, okay? I was like, what are you talking about? I love my brothers. I love them. If you did, you would shut the f up. And I was like, you're sick. You're sick. These mind games are not okay. What mind games? Da -da 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 -da. Just arguing with me. And I was like, okay. I don't even think you understand what you're, how, what you're doing and how sick this is but I'm sorry no one was there for you. And they brainwashed you into thinking this is okay. Shut the f up. So she starts screaming and then her hubs gets on the phone. Me and him have a couple of words because he thinks that he could tell me X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, shut up before I go over there whoop your ass for my mama. Okay, he's like, a oh, mama doesn't go about you. Oh, you got me, you got me there. So I hung up because I started to cry. <laughs> Because I was really hurt. I was like, oh, okay. Tell me how you really feel, ya dick. So I'm over here. You know how you're on the phone and you start walking around doing the whole like little zigzag. I'm over here crying. I'm outside, inside, outside, inside. And I'm just not <laughs> understanding that like you can go blue in the face, but you cannot make someone be loyal to you by having a screaming match. You cannot make someone care for you by crying and you know telling them a whole list of everything they don't give a fuck. they don't care you cannot make someone care about you if they don't want to you just can't because if you wanted to you would if they wanted to they would but they don't so move it along and that's just what it is and I feel like we tend to have lots of excuses I still have excuses for a lot of people that I love because I'm still working through it and it's hard and it's very very hard but when we find ourselves wondering like, well, why don't they do this? And they do it for others blah, blah, blah. because if they wanted to, they would. That's why. And it sucks. And then we hear like, oh, it's because not everyone has the same heart as you. You know, that kind of thing. You have to tell you yourself like, is this relationship worth it? Or do I keep it going? You know what I'm saying? So those are hard conversations to have with yourself at times, especially because if you're one that loves hard. And I felt like being the first grandbaby, that meant something since they're always like, would tell me that and oh, my morinita, da, 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 da. I was like, I got this. And mm, not, nah. okay, because with the quickness bitch, I can't even snap. With the quickness bitch, I was replaced when my sister was born. Quick, quick. And it's crazy because it's like my si like my, my sister and my brother don't even respect you. And it's like, that's crazy. Because I honestly feel like if my grandma would have played her cards right and would have had heart, me and my brothers would have taken care of her. Honestly, if she was a good grandma, we would have taken care of her. No problems. I even took care of her when we were out there because I was like, oh, you know. But as you see, like, oh, that's just how you are. But it's just crazy because when we, I was still like, what? How old was I? I had have been like... 16 17 and i was like still trying to go around try to be around my grandma and stuff and she was just like why are you here don't you have a life but i wanted to be there because i wanted to spend time with my grandma and my brothers i was like i want you guys to see my babies like but my grandma would like li was literally like why are you here why do you come every weekend don't you got a life and then my mom would excuse her excuse her and i was like no like stop You've been saying that this because of this, this is because of this. And then my grandma would have the nerve to be like, why is this person, why do they treat? Cause she's nice, because she's nice. Damn, she's nice. And my grandma would be like, why well, I had a childhood? And I get that, I get that. When people have rough childhoods, I get that. I feel like we sympathize enough with my grandma on that. I feel like we've given her her flowers. I feel like we have given well, my mom, that's a whole different story. But me and my siblings, I got, that got nothing to do with me. That got nothing to do with my siblings at all. But she would put it on us, you know? I feel like we, we've done more than enough, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> so anyways, pacing back and forth, Tommy finally comes out and she's like, you good? I'm like, yeah. Like, I'm just, I don't know what's wrong with me. I wanna go fight somebody. And Tommy's like, all right, let's go. And so I'm like laughing because I'm like, are you serious? She's like, yeah, let's go. So I was walking to the car. She's like, first bitch you see, up and i was like like okay jade was dumb jade was stupid okay so we get in the car we're driving she's like first one you see i was like okay first one bet first one i'm just gonna me 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 when i get out first one she's like yep yeah, first one no hi no how you doing boom that's what you're gonna get i was like okay 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 we see this girl and i was like mm -mm -mm. she's like yeah she looks so innocent i was like right right okay yeah yeah we're going we hit a spot we hit a, a red light and i'm like oh, see another girl she's like mm too stocky. She'll whoop that ass. And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. 
we go on the freeway. And she's like, look, we'll, we'll find someone who's hitchhiking. And I kind of laugh. And then I finally just like calm down. I wasn't going to be no one's butt, but I feel like it, it, it helped that Tommy played into it. You know what I mean? Where she's like, oh yeah, first bitch. Honestly, I'm like, yeah, bit, bit. You know, thinking and having just like all this rage. I love that she played along and I'm pretty sure she wouldn't let me get out of the car. She would have like, girl, sit your ass down and like laughed at me. Like, what are you doing? You know, but I feel like she let me have my moment of just being so angry, so mad. Cause I was, I really was. I was just so like, why? And I feel like for the longest, for the longest, I would always excuse their behavior because I'd be like, you know what? I was a bad little kid because I was always cussing them out or fighting with them. But as I've gotten older and I have done the story times and you guys have validated my feelings, I'm like, oh my God, like I wasn't crazy to be feeling like that. Like they should have been protecting me. They should have, that's why I was, I wasn't just freaking wild and out for no reason it wasn't like i woke up one day and i was like i don't want to be here i don't want to live here no like there was valid reasons for it i feel like i was so used to being like gaslit by them because of the way that they are you know and even now at times i'll have like an argument with like a family member and they'd be like well you know you it's because you were hard me hot how the f that hard what do you know what my mom and my grandma told you what do you know have you heard bird what really happened think so it's cool you would let your daughter stay with somebody who did this or not me oh, well i didn't know that oh, then shut the fuck up i hate how everyone was so quick to talk about like yeah that's you know she was a little mokosa and she got pregnant so young blah, 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 blah. shut up shut up shut up up instead of like being there for me reaching out like hey me how you good like i know your mom has been in and out of jail i do need it they're so quick just For a while, I was really like, yeah, like I was a little, like it really was hard to love me. Like I was over here, I was wilding out for good reason. No. So as we're getting closer to home, I'm messaging the peaches and I'm like, hey, can I come over? They're like, yeah, go ahead. We're out doing a couple things. We'll be there in a little bit. I'm like, okay, cool. I tell Tommy and Tommy's like, yeah, but we just need to talk about what happened. I'm like, okay, what's up? So my mom was pretty much telling her that she didn't want me going anywhere, that I was grounded and to take my phone. And Tommy's like, I'm not gonna do all that. I was like, yeah, because of what happened with Bobby. And she just stays quiet. She's like, I'm just not gonna do that. I'm like, okay. I wasn't trying to like throw it in her face, but I was trying to be like, I'm not wrong, you know? And I feel like she knew it too. Like you're not wrong. And your mom just doesn't know what way to go because everyone is in her ear telling her that you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. Which is so weird, which is so weird. The whole situation just pisses me the off. It's okay though. It's okay, we're gonna do our makeup. She's like, I, I'm gonna get my kids today. What are your plans? And I was like, Tommy, can you just tell me what you need me to do? She's like, can't, you can't be home for a couple of days. I was like, okay, that's all you had to say. Why don't, why don't you just leave with that? She's like, because it makes me feel like a piece of I'm like, okay, and if you are, that's okay. And she's like, I miss his peaches, and I'm like, it's okay if I stay a couple nights, you know, go with y'all, all that. And they're like, yeah, that's fine. I'm like, okay, because my aunt's gonna leave out of town, and I don't want to, you know, leave you guys hanging because of the babysitting, blah, 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 laid on thick. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah, that's cool. And I'm like, okay, cool, 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 cool. I get some of my stuff. She drops me off and she like tells me like she's sorry. But when I get older, I'll understand the situation. I'm like, no, I won't. She's like, of course you won't. Because you're never going to, you know, put up with stuff like that. You're always going to put your kids first. And you're always just this. And you're going to, nah, nah. I was like, and speak that spell and speak it to existence. She starts laughing. So I get off, meet the peaches. Hey, they were there. Hot them with the groceries. They're like, oh, are you okay? Because I think that my face just looked frustrated. And it was. I was pissed. I was like, y'all have no idea. You have no idea I was out here fighting demons a minute ago. No idea. But I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm like, okay, get one on because they don't want any attitude today. And I was like, looking at her, Mr. Peach is like, ah, la. because she sounded like she was going to be like, oh, I'm like all concerned. And then she went right back to like the, whoosh, you know? So I go inside and there is a mess, y'all, like a mess where I was like not used to her. So it's like, no wonder why they were like, yeah, come in first. Let's have some fun because they were like, oh, good timing, bitch. Because we just flipped this bitch upside down. That's honestly what it felt like. I was like, Ugh. there was so much mess and like bags and bags and like clothes and like the trash was like open. Like some of it was spilling over and I was just like, what the? So they were going through kind of like a spring cleaning and they need some help. And I'm like, oh, great. I'm like, like you, oh. So we started going through all the bags, everything. And Sam was pissed off. So she was mixing clothes with garbage. 
I was so heated because I was like, dang, how dumb do you have to be to do this? And I'm like, and you're a bitch because I'm the one who's having to do it because sounds like I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Like she had an attitude and they didn't make her and it wasn't like, no bitch, you're going to do it regardless. She was like, I'm not doing it. And she stood on, I'm not doing it. And so who had to do it? And I'm telling you, pants that had like toilet paper of caca and I'm just so annoyed because I'm like, why, why? So I'm like kind of gagging and Mr. Peach is like, Alexis, don't be so dramatic. And I'm like, are you serious? Like this is really gross. And he was like, it's just a little bit, it's from like the kids and stuff like that, that like it's baby caca. I'm like, no, that's some grown wipes. Okay, no. I wasn't like complaining like, oh my God, no, ew, gross. I was trying my hardest to like mask the like gagging and all that because it was just too like, it was overpowering, okay? I was like, uh-uh. So he was helping me a little bit, but he started getting annoyed with how Sam decided to throw the garbage in the back. Some of it wasn't even like bad garbage. It was just like, oh, like a soda can and like now the shirt's dirty and like stuff like that. And he was just like, why? Like, por qué? Like, leave me right now. Like, tell me why. Like, why? She's like, you told me to throw out the garbage. Like, it was just like doing stuff wrong on purpose so that you wouldn't be asked to. Like, what's called incompetence? Is that what it's called? Something like that, right? So I'm kind of annoyed because I'm like, what the heck? Baltimore ends up popping by and she's asking like what I'm doing there. They're like, oh my gosh, don't start. Cause she has like a little attitude. Everyone was just like on like some crappy attitude. Like I have no idea why. She's going through the stuff and she was like, why is there garbage in here? Sam is like, because they told me to throw the garbage. So I threw the garbage. Ah, uh, when he started acting like a pinche pendeja, and they're like fighting. And Sam's like, I don't even want to hear you. Like, just starts fighting with her, right? Just trying to get in, out of, like, the sala, do what I have to, and go chill upstairs with the babies, whatever, because they're just too much at times. So there's a shirt in there that Baltimore likes, and she's like, oh, me voy a quedar with this. And Sam's like, uh, no, I put that in an accident. They're literally fighting over a shirt. Now, I don't know how expensive the shirt was, I'm telling you. They would buy, like, expensive-ass pants, and I'd be like, you're gonna pay that much for the pants? And they'd be like, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna wear $10 pants that the fabric, blah, 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 blah. So they're starting fighting over this shirt, like, fighting. And Mr. Peach is like, you didn't want it, you put in the thing, give it to her, like, screaming, screams. And I feel like, I feel his frustration, like, yeah, I would be screaming out of frustration too like we're over here doing all this and as soon as she picks up something you're like uh no i want that now like it just seemed like that and i can understand why he was like wait like uh uh uh, uh. so sam throws it at her and she's like of course you'd want this put that i have it like just super mad and i'm like okay dramatic we're a little dramatic and he yells at her to come back then not to be talking to her like that to show her some respect did i just get the shirt dirty Yes, you did. Oh my gosh, you give me the ick. Ugh. He's screaming at her. She's laughing and she's like, oh, God, get to this so old already. Blah, 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 blah. They're fighting. And I am being nosy, of course, because they're going at it. So I'm trying to hear like the little digs that they're throwing. And Mr. Peach is like, Alexis, hurry up. Snapping at me. Oh, yeah. And he was like, pinche, like, mocosa. Like, over here being, like, nosy. I get mad because I'm like, pinche, mocosa. I'm like, que me dijiste? I'm like, what did you say to me? And he's like, that you're being nosy. I was like, no. Like, why did you say it like that? He's like, ah, por favor, no te pones dramática también. Like, oh, please, don't be, like, dramatic too. And I'm like, no. Like, why did you say that? He's like, why are you going to act like that? And I don't know why. It just really took me for, like, a loop where I was like, why the hell? did you say it like that dude like i'm over here touching poop and stuff and it just made me mad so i put it like a, a dirty taste in my mouth at the moment because i was like dude what the hell but i think it's because of everything that began where i was like fighting with the the stepdad fighting with my mom so like everything was just like i was on edge right oh these nails super long y'all they stopped fighting and we continued to go through these bags like it was a lot of bags someone in the family was going to take a trip to mexico so they were getting ready to pack up and take some of the things that no longer fit the peaches kids or them and you know just getting ready so it was 
so many bags to go through, so many shoes to go through, a lot of things. And the peaches let me keep a thing here or, or there. It really hurt my feelings because I really liked one of the shirts. And I was like, oh, like, can I have this one? I wasn't like, oh, can I have this? 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 I wasn't saying that. It was like two pairs of pants that I got and I think like three shirts. So there was one more shirt that I was like, oh my God, this is really cute. And I was even thinking like, oh, I can trade out this shirt for this one, right? And so I tell her like, I really like this one. Can I? And she's like, I put for what I like this. You shouldn't be wearing something like that. It's it's too expensive. And I was like, what? And she, Mrs. Peach is like, yeah, it's too expensive for a kid to be wearing. Like, no, no, you know, you don't, you don't need it. Ah, uh, you know what? Just. Just leave this stuff right there. Leave this stuff right there. She was getting annoyed and I was like, okay. So I leave the two pairs of pants and the three shirts there. And I'm like trying to like hold in my tears cause my lip is quivering. And I hate when this happens sometimes cause I'm like, uh, I don't even want you to cry. Like what the hell? But it's like your body is like, bitch, we can't keep it in no more. We gotta flood these gates, you know? And so I'm just continuing going the thing. And I'm like, okay, did I come across greedy? Did I come across like mind my mind? Because they seen how I like the shirt and then I was like oh you know, and they're like, oh, do you want it? I was like replaying all the, the stuff in my head. I was like, okay, hey, how did you come across? Like, were you doing too much? Is like, are they just being mean? Like, what is it? Is it because it's really expensive? <laughs> it's so funny because I was telling my mom and I was telling my husband too. I like the Playboy purses and all that because it has like a sentimental thing to me. But I remember one time wearing a Playboy shirt, had a little bunny right here. And I remember wearing it in elementary. <laughs> See, that would have been like, oh, uh, that's inappropriate for you. You know what I mean? But she said too expensive. I was like, dang, beach. Like, okay. Like, and she's like, you don't need to be wearing that. No, like it was so off putting. Cause I was like, what you mean by that? You know, it was so weird. So I'm like, like this, like trying not to cry. And I pissed Mrs. Peach off. She's like, hi, Alexis, por qué te pones así? Like, why do I get like that? And I was like, como que, like how? And she's like, like, quieres llorar? Like, no quiero ver si vas a llorar. Like, she didn't want to see me if I was gonna be crying. I was like, no, like, uh, perdóname, like for real, like I didn't mean to. And she's like, ah, like, I just had to put the clothes right there. Like, it's just, yeah, like me estás frustrating her. And I'm like, okay. And Baltimore ch chimes in for me and she's like, like to leave me alone, I'm not even doing anything that she's just mad because I'll probably look better in it than her. And she's like, this is cosas I seen. Like if you're gonna be saying shit, I'm not gonna get in anything. And it's kind of weird where I was like, what the f And so Mrs. Peach is like, you know what? I just need some air. It's too much being in here with you guys. So dramatic. Cause it's like, mm, okay, okay. So she's like, I need some air. Baltimore goes, uh huh, uh -huh give it there. Like to go talk to your little boyfriend. I stayed quiet, head down when she said that. I was like, little boyfriend. And I just see Mrs. Peach, her body snap back and look at her. Like, I don't know how, what face she gave her, but she just snapped back and look at her. And I was like, oh, somebody's cheating. That's why you don't give up. That he over here cogiendo the okay, okay. So I just put my head down. Mrs. Peach leaves. Baltimore is like, grab that bag right there. <clears throat> so I grab a bag and she starts putting stuff in there for me. And she's like, then put it over there and I'll just say it's mine. She's like, it's because you're younger and it's insulting when someone younger looks better in the clothes that you buy for yourself. And I was like, oh, she's like, it's either that or that's a bitch is crazy. But that to not let her hurt my feelings. And so we're making those stupid faces. And I was like, I didn't even know I was making that face. And she starts laughing. Cause like, I really was like trying my hardest to keep in my freaking like, trying to cry. I just got a little dab. Mrs. Peach leaves and Mr. Peach comes down and he was like, where did she go? Sam goes, oh, to talk to her little boyfriend. And he just looks at her like all glee where he's like, just okay, like what the fuck? And Baltimore's like, oh, so far, cause she's gonna go get something to eat because we've been at this a long time. He's like, oh my gosh, you guys are so dramatic. Like, why are you guys so dramatic? And then he looks over at me. He's like, Alexis, tell me, why are you guys so dramatic? And I'm like, I don't know. He's like, no, leave me. And I'm like, oh, we're not. He's like, all oh, you women are the same. You guys are so dramatic. You do a little bit of work, yada, yada, yada. And I'm just like, eh, 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 eh. trying to like laugh with him. But he's like being so serious of like, tell me why. And I'm like, I don't know. Baltimore is like, I get the Like you sound stupid too. Like what the f Hold up. Wait a minute. So they're having like their little giggly moment, but it is coming across extremely flirtatious. And I'm just like, this is uncomfortable to the point where Sam's like, can you guys stop already? And you already know why Sam got a little animosity towards them doing that, right? So I'm like, it's awkward. 
we kind of finish up and Mr. Peach is like, okay, you guys can take a break since you guys are so dramatic, blah, 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 blah. We take a little break. We're sitting there and Mr. Peach is like, oh, I wonder where she's at. If she really is going to bring something like I'm hungry. And as he's saying that, Mrs. Peach walks through the door and she has McDonald's bags. She has like quite a few. So I was like, okay, cool. We're about to eat. We're about to eat. Cause I'm hungry and who doesn't like McDonald's at the time? So she's walking through, she has the bags and Miss about to say her name. Well, tomorrow's like, let's just go help. And I'm like, okay. So I get up to go help Mrs. Peach's like gases to me. And I was like, oh, I'm just, I'm just going to help you. And she's like, why? I was like, oh, because Baltimore told me. And she's like, oh, so you have to be told? And I'm just like, yo, like, where is this coming from? Like, why are you so and hard to like talk to? Like, what the? F I'm like, no, I don't have to be told. I just didn't want to, to get in your way. She's like, well, why would you be getting in my way? And then Mr. She's like yeah like to stop she's like it's just a question and he's like no like that she's bothering me and she's like oh okay i'm bothering her i'm bothering her okay and i'm like the f is that supposed to mean like okay she tells me like who everything is for okay she's like oh this is for so and so like oh that one's for that one that one's for this one that one's for that one and the bags are getting smaller and smaller she was like this is for for Baltimore this is for Sam and the bags are getting smaller and smaller and she's like and this one's for me <laughs> there was nothing in there for little x I was like oh you know how stupid you feel when someone purposely leaves you out and they do it intentionally I don't know why people are like this with food I don't understand it. And the whole time I'm like, why? Like, why is this such like a sick game to her? Like, that's what it feels. It doesn't feel like it's not intentional. It feels very intentional. It feels like you're trying to inflict pain and you're trying to like the wound in deeper. And I just don't understand, bitch. Like, I don't get it. And I never will understand why people are like this with food. Never. I will go hungry before I let someone around me go hungry. I just sit down. She's like, looks at me and she's like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, okay. So I'm about to get up and Mr. Peach is like, what do you mean what she's doing? Let's push your food. And I was like, oh, I, I didn't get none. He tells Mrs. Peach, like, what do you mean she didn't get none? She's like, I didn't know she was gonna be here. And he gets kind of like, oh, like he's like frustrated with that answer. Cause I'm like, bitch, what do you mean? Like you got the food while I was here. Like, what are you talking about? Like. What do you mean? Like that wouldn't make sense. It would make sense if I wasn't there and then I showed up and then it's like, oh, okay, yeah, we have food. Like that would make sense. But she would do this toying thing with comida, which I never understood why. So when he does that, she kind of gets startled and she's like, okay. And then he was like, por qué estás así? Like, why are you like that? And she was like, how? And just trying to like make it seem like, oh, we're being dramatic. And Baltimore is like, then that gives me some of her food. She's like, I'm not even that hungry. And I don't like to eat this food anyways. And tries to like make the situation a little bit better and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, are you sure? Cause I was hungry, you guys, I was so hungry. She's like, yeah, I'm sure, I must come in. She's like, I don't know why the pinche vieja, like that she's like acting like that. And and she's like, I didn't like what? I didn't know she was going to be here. And we were all like, dude, what are you talking about? Like you left when I was here. Like, what are you talking about? So Mr. Peach is like getting into her and is like, what are you talking about? She was here helping with the clothes. And she's like, ah, I don't even remember. I didn't even notice. Like trying to be so mean. And I was like, oh my God, dude, like you were such a bitch. Like, okay. He was like that he expect for Baltimore to act like this, but he didn't expect her to be acting like this right now. And Baltimore was like, what? Like I just gave her my food. And I couldn't help but kind of like feel awkward and try to like rethink what the heck I was going to do. I couldn't go back to Tommy's because Tommy has her kids and I was like, dang, like what am I gonna do? Like obviously she can't stand to be around me. Like she just like switched. I don't know what the heck, right? She was like, okay, I forgot. It was a simple thing. I forgot I was distracted. And he's like distracted by what? And she was like, just distracted. It's been a long day, blah, 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 blah. And he was like ridiculous. And that sounds so funny in Spanish to me. I don't know why. She's always a little, I'm not, I'm not. It was awkward. She didn't end up eating because she was so mad. Her appetite was ruined by me. She went off to bed. He still ate. Baltimore was like just chilling there. The kids were giving, you know, her some like little nuggies and stuff. She was eating that. And then she would like, look at me. And I just like nod her head. And I was just like, this is so weird. And so I tell Mr. Peach, like when he's done, can me and him talk? He's like, I already know what you're gonna talk to me about. And it's fine. I don't know what's wrong with her. She's getting old. And I was like, can we just still talk? And then he's like, Alexis, I don't want to talk about it. Like, it's fine. She's just getting old. And I was like, 
okay? Me and Sam go upstairs. When me and Sam were upstairs, she was like, dude, you pissed her off. And I was like, I don't even know what the f I did to her. She's like, you shouldn't have asked about the clothes. And I'm like, damn, the clothes really set her off. Like all I said, she's like, yeah, she's, I don't know. She's been, she's been losing it lately. I don't know why. I'm like, that's weird. Cause honestly y'all, I wasn't even like, oh, can I get this? Can I get this? Can I get that? Cause I've always been told like, don't be greedy like that. I just really liked the shirt. That's why I was like, can I switch it? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if the shirt was already like for somebody. And that's why she was like, bitch, I have no idea. Me and Sam call it a night. I check in with Tommy because she was like, there's something in the air. I feel like something's wrong. And I was like, uh, yeah, homegirl just freaking flipped out on me. She's like, why? I'm like explaining the situation. She's like, oh, that's weird. She's probably doing something and she, maybe she was distracted. I was like, yeah. The other girl let it slip that like she had a boyfriend. She's like, well, maybe. And she just had to buckle down with the lie. I was like, maybe, but that was so weird. It made me feel so uncomfortable. And she was like, sorry, I don't know what to tell you, Lex, but you're gonna have to like deal with it because my kids are here. And I was like, yeah, I got it. She's like, unless you wanna see what your grandma's doing. I'm like, nah, <laughs> nah, that's gonna be weird. Like if I go up showing to my grandma between like my tails, my tail between my legs, she will never let it go. And she'll be like you see you need me i don't need you because that's what my grandma always say you'll need me before i ever need you i was like all right bet bet for the next day plans change with going to this area that's an hour away and i couldn't help but think it's because like i irritated mrs mrs peach but it was because i guess mr peach had some work that he needed to do and he had to like switch things around so i was like okay cool like it wasn't about me mrs peach did end up apologizing to me she said that something slipped her mind and that she hates when Mr. Peach gets on her. So she just had to like pretty much what Tommy was saying, like buckle down and just be like, nope, nope, nope. Because she didn't want to give him the satisfaction of him being right. And that she was sorry and that she'll try not to let that happen again, but that it really did slip her mind and she was sorry. And I was like, okay, cool. She apologized, nice. Didn't think I was gonna get one of those. So I was really surprised. The next like day or two, it was just like normal stuff, doing chores, going out, running errands with them. And it was just all fine and dandy. Y'all got this in PR and I'm so freaking excited to show you guys. It's the new Huda Beauty box filler, extra shine, lip gloss. I am so freaking excited. I was so freaking lucky. I sent the glosses. And the lip liners, y'all was like, oh my God. So let's put on a lip color. Like the bag is like super cute. Look at that. Ah. <gasps> let's do this. I will be using warm brown. Look at this color, warm brown and honey. Oh, I think it's this one. This is a rich brown. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. Oh, that is so pretty. Mm -hmm. Love that. Okay, now for the gloss. I'm so excited for the gloss. Here it is. Oh, that is gorgeous. Ooh. The doe fabricator, I love. Oh, look how creamy that was. And we have to go through the bags again. There's more that's been added over these two days. And we're just going through everything down to like the baby stuff, to Mr. Peach's stuff, to Mrs. Peach's. And we're like everything. Everything that you could possibly think of and this whole time I'm like, damn, this is like a lot of clothes. Like I wonder how much these clothes are worth. Like I'm like trying to like look at like, okay, like look this, like look this. just like trying to make it nice. Cause there's a certain way, certain way that they want to organize of like girls, boys, teenagers, babies, not teenagers and that category and stuff like that. Trying to do it as best as I possibly can. I end up picking up some boxers and Mrs. Peach is like, oh, those are Mr. Peach. Give me that. You don't have to touch that. So we're starting going going through it all again there's some dresses and i'm like holding up the dresses i'm not one that i think i look flattering in a dress i'll wear a dress but i'm not like oh what's up bitch i'm not like that i just feel like i just don't have the cuerpo for it i feel like there's a lot of girls who will put on a dress and it's like dang girl but when i put it on i feel like i'm like you know like that so i'm like holding up the dress mrs peach tells me to go try it on and i'm like nah stop in and i can fold it and she's like all right but like why don't you listen like just go try it on like do you know how expensive that dress is and i was like even more reason not to go try it on and so i'm like trying to fold it so i mean her go back and forth she's like listen can you just please try it on i'm like okay so I go and try it on and she's like why don't you like wearing dresses you have a nice sweater blah, 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 blah. and i'm like oh because i won't wear it mr peach comes down and then he's like why are you wearing that and i was like oh mrs peach told me to try it on and then he was like a girl your age shouldn't be wearing dresses like that it was honestly not even that revealing it was just like a little v-neck like this and it had like it was a little short but not too short like if i bent over you see some who not that short he was just being dramatic so and i think it was very expensive where he's like bitch take 
it off right now. Before I come out, she was like, oh, try this one. I'll try this one. So I'm like, I'm having a cute little moment with this peach, trying on the dresses. And she's like, oh, that one's nice. That one's nice. Everyone needs a black dress. Go ahead and put that one to the side. I'll let you keep that one. I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. So I put that one to the side. I come out and then she's like, what? Are you expecting more? And I was like, oh no. Like I had tried on like at this time, like I wanna say like eight, 10 dresses, okay? So every time I would come out, she was like, oh, and this one, oh, and this one. So like the 10th one, I came out and maybe my face was like, you know, and she's like, oh, what now? Oh, now? So like, it was so hard. I never knew how to act. I honestly felt like most of the times I need to be like, stone cold face so that we wouldn't have like a misunderstanding of like why this why that da, 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 da. and it just felt like i was such an easy target for her to pick on because like anytime she tried to like start with the kids mr peach would interject or voltimore would say something or her and voltimore would be going at it it was just like just very just picky 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 we were just like okay and when she was good she was good you know so it was just like uh trying to take it heart kind of time all the time so i was like oh no i wasn't saying i wasn't trying to imply anything i'm so sorry so i said down and for like another like 30 minutes to an hour we're still going things going through things like we're going through things to, to make it sure that like everything looks nice nothing has like uh the stitch coming out or like any like manchas or anything at all like any spots any like anything any like wear and tear on them okay we're going through like beauty products we're going through like so many things when it comes to the beauty products i make a comment of like oh this is such a pretty color and she's like no put that in there i would let you but that's just so expensive maybe when i'm like an adult you know trying to be funny with her and she was like even then you wouldn't be able to afford it <laughs> okay i was like Dang. it was so mean and she was like and i'm not be saying it to be a bitch like i'm just giving you like honest truth and not not trying to give me like false hope and i was like okay well tomorrow is like there's a way to say things yeah you're right but there's a way to say things i'm like what the f bitch like okay it was just like so unnecessary and i just like didn't understand it i was just like okay like all right foundations they were like no you don't even need the foundations like your your skin is nice and stuff like put that in there throw that away this and that and like the powders like you don't need powders and they were like it was like backhanded compliments you know so i was like oh <laughs> okay so we're still going through stuff sam throws down two bags and she's like here's the two bags so we're st still going through it we have a little nice routine going on Baltimore left she came back she brought me something and she was like you see this is how you do it like to peach mrs peach is like i already said that i was sorry like leave it alone and she's like oh yeah you did yeah you did we take a break and we're munching and we're eating and sam comes downstairs and i noticed that she's wearing the shirt that i had told mrs peach if i could keep and so instantly i feel like oh like okay all of a sudden you wanted it she comes down and she's like it looks cute no? and i was like yeah it does and she's like we can share it and so she goes around she's sitting down mrs peach is like why are you wearing that because me looks like a shirt she's like no like why are you wearing it? like so mad about it so it may kind of made me feel good where i'm like okay cool you weren't just on me about it like it's something about the shirt like that was a baby making shirt or something like it has to be something right like it has to be something of importance mr peach comes down and then he was like ah oh, ya estás chingando otra vez like you're already starting again and and she's like shut up and like fighting as we're still like you know going through the thing Voltimore is starting to go through bags and she pulls out like some like speedo undies and she's like you know like going like this to mr peach and he's like kind of like laughing and now mrs peach is looking at Voltimore and it's just so much chaos going on i'm like what so much where they say like don't say oh my gosh what else can happen because you're putting like a spell out there and i honestly think that's true like now when like something is going on i'm just like zip it say something of oh, that's going to be good so we put it out there nothing negative you know they're looking at it mr peach grabs it from Baltimore and he's like ah, puts it away and stuff like that and she's like i never seen those mrs peach is like why would you see them like it's all mad sam is like you know going like this through the shirt like oh they're going like that and mrs peach is like you're stretching it you're stretching it and sam's like I'm stretching it. You probably stretched it. That's why I think sure has these marks. Looks like it has stretch marks. Like trying to be funny and Mrs. Peach is getting freaking mad. And they're having like their little moment. Sam's phone keeps going off while they're having this discussion. Like going on, going off, going off, going off, going off, going off. And it's like repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. I was like, what the heck? So everyone's like going crazy fighting about this shirt in particular. I'm like, what is up with this shirt? Like I don't understand 
what's up with this shirt? Like, I honestly think like, is it a baby making shirt? Like, what is it? They're going through it. They're going on it. Well, tomorrow, Mr. Peach were like talking about something where Mrs. Peach is trying to like attack Sam, but still trying to look. So she's looking like this, trying to like listen to everything. She's like, ¿Qué? ¿Qué dices? Voltimore is like, no one's even talking to you. Why are you trying to get to our thing? She's like, it's because he's mi esposo, because he's uh, my husband. And then Voltimore is like, are you sure about that? Like trying to like stir the pot, say something. And then he's like, what's that supposed to mean? And where's that boy? What? So they're going through the little thing. And then we hear a knock on the door and everyone's just kind of just sitting there. Doesn't listen to it. Knock on the door. Everyone's just blah, 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 blah. And Alexis, I told you, why did you go and hide it? I was like, yeah, let's hit it. I'm like, no, I did not. Knock on the door. Tomorrow's like, I told her to put it away. Peach is like, why did you tell her to put it away? I told her to put it away. Knock on the door. It's just like, continue to fight. I'm like, okay, I don't even want it. She's like, why do you even want it? Like, I was like, oh yeah, you're right. Cause like, I could never, cause like, I can't, I can't afford expensive things. Oh my God, here we go. Knock on the door. Sam is like, why do you tell her that? You didn't have money until you met my dad. Knock on the door. Mr. Peach is like, everybody shut up. But like, why is everyone fighting over this stupid shirt? He tells Mr. Peach, like, what's the reason? Knock on the door. Baltimore is like, answer the f door. And no one gets up to do it. So I was like, oh, <laughs> that's my cue. I go to the door and there is bubbles. Oh my God. Wow, his name just flew right out. Okay, uh, and Joe, and I'm gonna end it there, you know? <laughs> I think I was getting too hyped in the story that, uh, yeah. Wow, Alexis, make sure you edit that part out. Note to self, note to future Lex. Edit that sh out. Wow. Okay. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed story time. I'll be back. I love you guys. Un besos a todos. If you guys enjoy story times, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. I love you guys so much. Un besos a todos. And I'll see you guys in my next story time. Bye. That was a real moment. Like, y'all, I got scared. <laughs> Bye. Chica, 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 chica